Hello everyone, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between the POCO X7, POCO X7 Pro and the latest POCO F7 Pro smartphones to see which device is going to be better in terms of hardware specs, gaming performance, daily usage and of course in terms of the benchmarking test score results. So here we go. So these are the benchmarking applications we got today here on our devices. We have already performed all of them and we will just have a quick look on the test score results. So first of all, let's start with Antutu Benchmark. So as you can see, the POCO F7 scored 691,595. The POCO X7 Pro scored 1.433544 million points. And the POCO F7 Pro scored 1.955908 million points. So as you can see, the winner is POCO F7 Pro. Then POCO X7 Pro is at the second position and POCO X7 is at the third position. If we go to the individual test score results, here you can compare the result of CPU, GPU, memory and UX. And as you can see in all of these four, performance of POCO F7 Pro is the best. After that, it is POCO X7 Pro and the POCO X7 is at the last position. So exact same sequence. So first position, second position, third position. Now if we go to the next test, that's going to be the Geekbench 6. This test is divided in CPU and GPU and the CPU test is divided in single core and multi core. So the POCO X7 scored 920 in single core, 2668 in multi core, while POCO X7 Pro scored 1556 in single core, 6376 in multi core and POCO F7 Pro scored 1660 in single core and 6583 in multi core. So once again POCO F7 Pro is at the first position. After that it is POCO X7 Pro and the POCO X7 is at the last position in the CPU test. Now if you go to the GPU test, in this POCO X7 scored 2485, POCO X7 Pro scored 10872 and the POCO F7 Pro scored 14948. So once again, first position, second position, third position. So, so far it's the same pattern. And now if you go to the last test for today and that's 3D Mark. So once again, 3D Mark is divided in multiple parts. It comes with Steel Nomad Light, Slingshot, Slingshot Extreme, Solar Bay. We got Wildlife, Wildlife Extreme as well. But as you can see, not all of these tests are available for all of these smartphones. For example, for my POCO F7 Pro, if I go to the My Test section, you can see Wildlife is available, but Solar Bay is available as well. But if I'm going to Steel Nomad Light, it is not available. As you can see here, Wildlife Extreme is not available as well. The device is very powerful for slingshots, so I did not perform that test. So we will have a look on the Wildlife and the Solar Bay test here basically to compare the result. But you can of course compare between the POCO X7 and X7 Pro for the rest of the test. So if you are talking about the Wildlife, the POCO X7 scored 3137 with 18.79 average FPS and both POCO X7 Pro and the POCO F7 Pro totally maxed out but if you have a look on the performance monitoring section you can have a look on the FPS generation. So for POCO X7 Pro it is from 47 FPS to 91 FPS and for POCO F7 Pro it is from 61 FPS to 90 FPS. So the maximum limit is pretty much same 90 and 91 FPS but the minimum lowest FPS is better on POCO F7 Pro and that's why the average will be better on it as well so first position second position third position in wildlife now if we go to the solar bay so you can see solar bay is not available on our POCO X7 as this test is not compatible the solar bay is not compatible with POCO X7 so we will talk about Solar Bay for POCO X7 Pro and POCO F7 Pro. So the POCO X7 Pro scored 
6612 with average 25.14 fps and the poco f7 pro scored 8822 with average 33.54 fps so in solar bay as well the winner is poco f7 pro then poco x7 pro and you can consider poco x7 at the third position if you would like to compare the performance of poco x7 and x7 pro then you can have a look on the steel nomad light 344 1435 pretty huge difference if we go to the wildlife extreme 844 is what we got on poco x7 and 4079 on poco x7 pro so as you can get the idea in terms of hardware specs the best device is poco f7 pro here after that it is poco x7 pro and then the poco x7 so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day